Can you tell me about how, um, I know there wasn't a traditional script, so how did you hear about the project and what drew you to these roles? Um, well, I, um, it was sent to my flat in London and uh, I sat down and just read it in one go and loved it instantly. Um, I just liked how uh, realistic it was about what it was like to be in a relationship in your 20s and it, when it wasn't overly sentimental or, or saccharine in any way. There was just an absolute honesty to it. Um, and I loved Anna and, and thought, um, and the challenge of doing a film and improvising, I mean, all those factors uh, made me want to, um, to get the part. And then I spoke to Drake on the telephone and we had a long conversation about the kind of films we liked and, and you know, the kind of performances. And he said, make a tape. So I made a tape and sent it to him. Now, what exactly arrived when you say you loved reading it? Was it an outline? Was it notes? It was a 50-page outline and it reads very much like a short story. So it has the characters and it has elements of their backstory and, um, and it has the, the stage directions. It's pretty much like a conventional script but without the dialogue. Would, yeah, you, yeah. would you say I that's would true? Say so. yeah, I think so. <laughs> and I understand they sort of pursued you for this role or, or they were interested in you from the beginning. Well, Jonathan Schwartz, uh, the producer, and I uh, had been friends for a couple years and we'd always wanted to work together and, and uh, I'd heard a lot about Drake and I'd heard about uh, Douchebag and, uh, and, and then Spooner when he was making Spooner before that and so... These are his films. Yeah, these are his films. <laughs> <laughs> I'd heard about the Douchebag. Uh, no, um, I, uh, I, I, I'd heard about him and, and I just thought what he was doing was really exciting, you know, and I, I always thought Schwartz was really brilliant for realizing that the, the film industry is in, in a state where movies aren't getting financed and if you want to make the movies that you want to make you have to do them on kind of a micro level mm -hmm. and so we connected over that and then Drake I guess wanted to sit down with me for this and we sat down and uh, I got he gave me the outline after we had sat down and I took it to my flat in, uh, in Tarzana <laughs> and uh, uh, I loved it I mean I had much the same reaction uh, which was that uh, the film was, it was such a beautiful outline. I mean, and it was kind of like a beautiful short story. I mean, I got through it really quickly. And, and, and what's interesting about the film is that even though we really changed a lot and it's not physically what it was on the page, emotionally, it's all there. I mean, it, it leaves me with the same feeling and, and, and the arc of, of these two people, it really gives me the same feeling that it did when I read it on paper.